How to crochet the mosaic tile motif. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and two balls of yarn in the colors of your choice. Special thanks to our sponsor, Southwest Trading Company, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Pure Line. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, double crochet. To begin this stitch, you're going to make a chain of six chains and then we'll join them in the round by doing a slip stitch into the first stitch of our chain. And we'll do this with color A. Round one. We're going to continue with color A and we'll begin with a chain four. Okay, this is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one. Then we are going to repeat this double crochet and chain one 11 times into the ring. So we'll double crochet and I'm actually going to work our tail into these stitches as we go and chain one. So repeat the double crochet and chain one 11 times total until we get to the end of the round. All right, once we've done our 11 double crochets and chain ones all the way around, we're going to finish up with a slip stitch into the third chain from our beginning chain. So one, two, three, right into here. And we will slip stitch together. Okay, that will finish up round one. You might want to stretch these stitches out around the base. Now for round two, we're going to switch to our color B. So I'm going to take our color B and loop it around our hook and then we're going to draw it through our stitch here. I'm going to pull this down on our color A and it's going to kind of disappear. Okay, that's going to lock that stitch in there a little bit easier. And then I'm just going to chain one for round two. Pull that a little bit tighter. Okay, so now for round two, we are going to do one single crochet into the next chain space, which is this one right here. And I'm actually going to work my tail in as I go again. So draw through and single crochet. Then we're going to chain two, one, two. And we will repeat this all the way across into each chain space all the way around. Should be a total of 12. So once we've finished our last repeat, we're going to do a slip stitch with our chain stitch at the beginning of the row here. Okay, and then we are going to draw color A through color B. Like we did before. I'm just going to tighten that down. And we're ready to move on to round three. Now for round three, we're going to start our repeat by doing a single crochet into the next space. That's this one right here. And then we are going to chain two and do that again. Chain two. All right, now what we're going to do is two double crochets into this next space. Sorry, I didn't mean to wrap that around twice. I was thinking two, that's why I did that. There's one double crochet, 
two double crochets. Then we're going to chain two again. And then we're going to do two more double crochets into the same space here. We're making a corner is what we're doing. Okay, and then chain two. And we're gonna repeat this three times more until we reach the end of our round. To finish up this round, after we've done our last repeat, which would be a corner, we're gonna do a slip stitch into that first single crochet from the beginning of the round. Okay, now we're going to draw up our color B through our loop here. And then we'll be ready to start round four. Round four, we're going to begin our repeat by doing a single crochet into uh, the next space. And I'm actually going to chain one here first, and then we'll single crochet. Then we will chain three, one, two, three, and then we will single crochet into the next space. Here, this is the double crochets, so we're going to do that. Another chain three until we get to the corner. Okay, so now that we're at the corner here, we're going to use single crochet into the corner and then chain three. And we'll do that twice. So that's one, two, three. That's one single crochet into that same space and then chain three. So that's two. All right. So we're going to repeat this sequence three more times until we get to the end of the round. So just to refresh, single crochet into each space and then chain three until we get to the corner and then we will single crochet chain three twice into the corner. All right, once we've finished our last repeat here, I've done one more single crochet into this last space and then chain three, and we're going to do a slip stitch into our single crochet from the beginning of the round. Okay, so then we can fasten off, and we've got our motif here, once you weave in your ends, of course. So that's how we crochet the mosaic tile motif. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.